When talking about new Bible versions, to the shock of many who may not be aware of the controversy, some of the greatest recommendations come from infamous occultists. One of the most notorious and influential of this kind was the 33rd degree Freemason Manly P. Hall, as he thoroughly explains how there is a goal to replace the King James Bible for versions that coincide with the secret goals and objectives of the people he associates himself with. Horizon, the magazine of useful and intelligent living, published 1944, volume 4, number 1, page 13. To make things right, we will have to undo much that is cherished error. The problem of revising the Bible shows how difficult it is to do this. For the last hundred years, we have been trying to get out an edition of the Bible that is reasonably correct, but nobody wants it. What's wanted is the good old King James Version, every jot and tittle of it, because most people are convinced that God dictated the Bible to King James in English. To understand the hidden and secret mechanisms of the fraternity of Freemasonry, goes well beyond most people's understanding. It is, however, proven that deep within the structure of the organization are Luciferian doctrines, not to mention occult rituals and other satanic practices. Just to drive the point home, let's read what he teaches from one of his books. I'll leave it on screen for you guys to read. It is crucial to understand that there is an agenda to remove the word of God from the hands of his believers, as it has real power that fights against the mystery of iniquity, and to cause confusion to the body of Christ. We should consider how enemies of God like Manly Palmer Hall view the threat of the Bible to their plans, and why this is no secondary issue. 2 Corinthians 11 verses 13 to 15 For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works.